Shakespeare the Sonnets, number forty-two. That thou hast her, it is not all my grief, and yet it may be said I loved her dearly. That she hath thee is of my wailing chief, a loss in love that touches me more nearly. Loving offenders, thus I will excuse ye, that thou shalt love her, because thou knowest I love her. And for my sake, even so doth she abuse me, suffering my friend for my sake to approve her. If I lose thee, my loss is my love's gain. And losing her, my friend hath found that loss. Both find each other, and I lose both twain. And both, for my sake, lay on me this cross. And here's the joy, my friend I are, are one. See flattery. Then she loves, but me alone. Now first off, I highly suggest you don't use, like, like a voice, a vo uh, text-to-speech generator here because that's just going to probably create some little problems with this, especially the AI version, because then they're just going to go ahead and make the pauses, which will not help you at all. I, I just, like, I've seen people do that, and don't do it. Although, I would highly suggest you read it out, read it out with me. That thou hast her, it is not all my grief. Now, just because you took her from me isn't all my grief. That's not where all my sadness is coming from. And yet it may be said I loved her dearly. And yet it might actually make sense to actually say and to think that I loved her greatly and like she was my star in the world. That she have Z is of my wailing chief. That it's just because that she have that's because you took her. That's because I'm the biggest cry in the world now. Like the chief cause of my grief here. It's like why I'm crying so much. A loss in love that touches me more nearly. And this loss of, like, my heart, with that gone, I gave, like, remember that, like, Christmas song? Like, last Christmas I gave you my heart, but the very next day you gave it away, gave it away. Yeah, that part. That just kind of reminds me of that, because, like, you gave your heart to your, your mistress, and then your mistress just gave it away, literally, well, not literally, the next day. It's like a little betrayal, as we will see in the last line. Loving offenders, thus I will excuse ya. I mean, I love her. The Shakespeare, I'm just gonna assume it's Shakespeare, because he's writing the sonnet. Shakespeare goes ahead and takes offense of this loving, and he will probably excuse you. That dost love her, because thou knowest I love her. Now you love her, only because you know I love her. And for my sake, even so doth she abuse me. Even so, she goes ahead and... She deceives me. She goes ahead and does things against my will. She cheats on me. If I lose thee, my loss is my love's gain. But if I lose her, well, my loss is literally a new gain of my love because I finally realize I can be honest with myself. And losing her, my friend, have found that loss. And to me, losing her, my loss is your gain. Both find each other and I lose both twain. Well, oh, wrong light. Well, you guys both like each other, but then I lose both of your relationships. And both for my sake lay on this cross. Now just go ahead and bury me under my cemetery, which on top of it has a little cross. But here's the joy, my friend and I are one. Sweet flattery, then she loves but me alone. And that's it. This is sonnet number 42. And in summary here, it just basically means we finally figured out that Shakespeare is found, finally concludes his little trilogy on harassing his young youth that he was praising for the last 40, uh, correction, 39 sonnets. Because finally he finds out in the previous two sonnets that his, 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 his young youth, the person he likes, goes ahead and is having an affair with the person, his mistress. And of course he just can't. Leave that unpunished. So he goes ahead and harasses the kid, the poor youth. And with that, well, we finally figure out that this guy just goes ahead and breaks off his relationship. Also, we know that this probably won't happen because Sonnet 43 still exists and it's still about the young youth. Also, I highly doubt that it's about harassing the guy. And that's it. That's Sonnet number 42 for you guys in a nutshell. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys really did think I missed some things, tell me in the comments below. And hold on, see you guys soon. And the next time, shout out. Peace. Bye-bye.
That thou hast her, it is not all my grief. And yet it may be said, I love her dearly, that she have thee is of my wailing chief. A loss in love that touches me more nearly. Loving offenders, thus I will excuse ye. Thou dost love her, because thou knowest I love her. And for my sake, even so doth she abuse me, suffering my friend for my sake to approve her again. If I lose thee, my loss is my love's gain, and losing her, my friend hath found that loss. Both find each other, and I lose both twain. And both for my sake lay me on this cross. But here's the joy, my friend and I are one. We flattery, then she loves, but me alone. <laughs>